Welcome to Venice. After a fabulous time in Rome, it's time to head out to a city I've always dreamed of, Venice. Fly if you must, but the trains are very accessible and they're really comfortable to travel through Italy. The one thing you should be very careful is to not carry too much luggage as space is always an issue. I take this opportunity to review all of my footage of Rome and start on the edit. You will find that video at the end of this video and in the description. As we pull into Venice, you're immediately surrounded by water. We get off the train and decide to take the water bus to our hotel. This ride offers a great view of Venice from the Grand Canal. We get off at Cadoro and walk up and down the cobble steps to our hotel. Once we check in, we're ready for some coffee and a little Venice exploration by foot. Everything looks delicious, but I settle on this cream cannoli. Venice is heavily populated by pigeons that are just waiting on you to drop a crumb. And once you do, you are surrounded. It's my hubby's turn next and they flock to him. Venice appears small, but it's really not. It boasts of many shops full of souvenirs, Murano glass, and Venetian masks galore. The bakeries hold some of the biggest chunks of meringue I've ever seen. The sun has started to set, but we keep walking. Venice is alive with restaurants and musicians at every corner. It's also packed with high-end fashion stores and specialty shops. The leather bags here are so tempting. After a few wrong turns, we make our way to the Rialto Bridge. This offers a wonderful view of the Grand Canal. This is picture perfect. We settle down for a set meal that is the best value for money, but not terribly exciting on the culinary scale. In retrospect, I rather would have ordered a la carte and sat outside. For the first course, my hubby orders the soup while I chow down on some spaghetti. He follows the soup with some grilled fish while I settle for fried calamari and a side salad. Mm -hmm. 
After dinner, we take in the views and do some window shopping. The next morning, we decide to give the old McDonald's a whirl. Once breakfast is done, we navigate towards St. Mark's Basilica and the Bell Tower. As you approach the Basilica, you can't help but be amazed at the splendor of the art that adorns the facade. The square is filled with people just hanging out or waiting to line up to go inside. The place is also the perfect backdrop for weddings. People are on the move everywhere, either checking in or checking out. Remember what I told you earlier about not carrying too much baggage? The line up to see the basilica snakes right around the structure. Either you pay a lot to skip the line or you patiently wait for hours. But here's another tip. There's a backpack check-in just off the square. If you check in your backpack, you will have an hour to pick it up again. Take the backpack ticket and just go stand right at the front of the line and the official will let you in. They know you only have an hour and you won't need more than an hour inside the basilica anyway. Photography is not allowed inside the basilica, but I did see many, many people taking photos. The artwork is just so incredible from the treasures on display to the incredible gold mosaics. After visiting St. Mark's Basilica, we lined up to get to the top of the bell tower. This offers an amazing view of Venice and it has an elevator that takes you right to the top. This bell tower collapsed and was rebuilt in the early 1900s. These are the five domes of the basilica we just visited. And if you're in luck, the bells will ring loud right above your head. You're not actually allowed to feed the pigeons as these nice officers just tell us. We settle down for a coffee at one of the establishments on the square. We take one look at the prices on the menu and promptly get up and walk away. It's lunchtime anyway so we settle on one of the nice little restaurants that lines these quaint cobble streets. We order a mushroom pizza. I decide to be adventurous and I try the cuttlefish ink pasta. I was surprised that it didn't taste too fishy and it tastes just like a regular pasta sauce. We are so close to our neighboring table, Irene and Mary, that we are soon having one conversation. Mac also tries the fried fish. We contemplate lighting up to see the Dodgers Palace, but we decide to just walk around instead. The gondolas on the tiny waterways are incredible, but beware, if you want to ride these for 30 minutes, it's gonna cost you 80 euros for a max of six people and 120 euros at night. Most couples don't want to share their gondola, so it's a steep price to pay for a few Instagram moments. I choose to use this gondola as my backdrop for free. Finally, it's time to do some souvenir shopping. I have a mask collection at home, so these will make a nice addition.
Time to try the gelato in Venice. They don't have pistachio and it's not as creamy as the ones I had in Rome. I've done my shopping and I'm excited to don my brand new yellow jacket and I'm excited to explore more of the city on our last night. We head back to the square to see if the basilica is illuminated by night. It's really not. While looking for a place to eat, we spot Rosso Pomodoro. This has been featured on TripAdvisor and so I thought we really should try it. The place is packed and the service is really slow. In fact, they totally forgot about us. Bread arrives in a cute little bag. I'm excited and hungry, but sadly, the bread is super stale. We ordered the bruschetta, cacio e pepe, and my husband ordered a fettuccine that he really didn't like. We leave not terribly excited about the meal and as we walk away, we pass a new bride. We make a few wrong turns on our way back to the hotel. Venice may have almost shut down for the night, but the musicians and the vibe is still alive. As a special treat, we chance upon a group of students performing on the streets outside the Milan bar. One, two, three, four. <laughs> for the big finish. And sadly, Venice was short but sweet and onwards to Florence. Ciao Venice, till we meet again. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and make sure that you share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends. Don't forget to check out both my Rome and Florence videos they are at the end of this video as well as in the description. Ciao guys, take care, bye.